Welcome back to Alice Chinese Adventure. In the Shanxi province, Xi'an is the oldest of the four great ancient capitals of China. Xi'an was the starting point of the Silk Road that connected east to the west. Today, it is a bustling city, a blend of old and new, and a perfect place to learn more about the over 5,000 years of Chinese history. The ancient city walls stretch 14 kilometers around the old city and are the oldest and most intact ancient Chinese wall in existence. Now that they have been restored, you can ride bikes along the top and enjoy this view of the city from above. In the center of the city is the bell tower which was built during the Ming Dynasty. It is the largest bell tower in structure and shape and is also the best preserved one. Nearby you can visit the drum tower which is also the largest one existing in China. The main attraction in Xi'an is the Terracotta Warriors, also known as the 8th Wonder of the World. Built from 246 to 248 BC, the purpose of the army was to protect the tomb of the first Chinese emperor, Qing Shi Huang, in the afterlife. The mausoleum is the largest mausoleum in China and took 700,000 artisans over 40 years to complete. It was discovered in 1970 when local farmers were drilling a well and unearthed the terracotta fragments. Originally, the warriors were painted with bright colours and holding wooden weapons, but in time, they have eroded away, leaving only unique life-size figures standing in battle formation. The site is split into three pits with 8,000 soldiers 1,300 chariots with 520 horses and 150 cavalry horses in total. Pit 1 is the largest among the three pits, measuring 230 metres long, 64 metres wide, with an area of 14,260 square metres. Pit 2 is where the cavalry and infantry units, as well as war chariots, were found. Pit 3 is where the command centre of the high-ranking army general Generals were found. On display, you can also find two bronze carriages driven by four horses, which are the biggest and earliest known bronze relics in China. The Shanxi History Museum is the first large scale modern national museum in China. The collections displayed hold abundant cultural remains and the profound history of the 13 ancient dynasties. The museum houses over 370,000 items ranging from jade articles from the Han Dynasty to gold ware from the Tang Dynasty. Nearby, the giant wild goose pagoda is a sacred Buddhist site and was built over 1300 years ago during the Tang Dynasty. In front of the temple stands a statue of Xuanzang who first brought Buddhism to China. The pagoda stands 64.5 meters tall with seven stories constructed by layers of brick without any cement. The reason it was named Wild Goose was because one of the Buddhist branches used to eat meat and after a wild goose broke its wing and fell to the ground, they vowed to stop eating meat. You can actually go inside and climb the tower and look down on the view below. From the north window, you may be able to see the musical fountain show in the north square. The Tang Dynasty was the most prosperous period of Chinese history and known for its flourishing trade, art and culture. The huge modern theme park covers an area of 300 acres and includes 14 different types of cultural districts including sculptures, performances and architecture. Combined, they recreate the brilliance and grandeur of the Tang Royal Palace Gardens. 
Another notable quality of the Tang Dynasty was the elevated role of women in society and the strives toward gender equality. A great example of this is the first female emperor in the history of China, Empress Wu Zetian. She reigned during 618 to 907 Common Era and was one of the most effective and controversial monarchs in Chinese history. You can even watch a reenactment of her reign performed with historically accurate instruments and costumes.